Here's a fact that may surprise you. Half of us drink a soda every day, but when you grab the can, do you clean off the lid before you take a sip? If you don't, you might start after you see this next story. Consumer reporter Betty Cross puts soda cans to the test to measure the yuck factor. Pop the top on your favorite soda and you expect to swallow sodium, sweeteners, and caffeine. But some other stuff you'll never find on the label could be lurking on the lid. If you were to drink out of this soda can, mm -hmm. would you wipe off the lid first? Yes. If we could see germs, you definitely probably wouldn't want to drink from it. So KI decided to find out exactly what your lips are touching with each sip. From Bastrop to Leander, Georgetown to San Marcos, we collected 15 cans from inside convenience stores, gas stations, grocers, and pharmacies. Our last quarters, we saved for the vending machine next to the KI newsroom. Okay, here we go. It's now up to ACC biology professor Felix Villarreal to find out what's living on the lids. Some of his swabs. You could see some debris on the lid. Quickly revealed the grime that could be going in your mouth. That's what people would drink from the can. But even the cans that look clean could be covered in bacteria. They can be completely contaminated and you wouldn't be able to see them at all. But not much can hide. Nice and ripe tomorrow, hopefully. After cooking a few days. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Our samples quickly grew into these yellow, white, and fuzzy dots. These look like little mountains growing. Each a different type of bacteria or fungus. 100% of all the cans we tested had some bacteria on them. Some had one organism and some had thousands. The worst offender came from a gas station. That's a bunch of bacillus. A bacteria that lives in dirt. It could have gotten on the can in a delivery truck, warehouse, or at the gas station. It's not dangerous but it's not clean either. It's just packed. But what may surprise you is that the cans that look the dirtiest did not always have the most germs. It's going to smell a little bad. One can we bought at a convenience store looked clean, but our test revealed it had more than 20 different bacteria and molds growing on it. They're not likely to get you sick, but... There's kind of a, a disgust factor when you think about it. Thank you. The most concerning find came from a Dallas gas station. CBS affiliate KTVT is doing a similar test and found the dust on the top of this energy drink contains coliform, which means something from here was living here. Something from the rectum would be the better way to describe it. I mean, it's coliform, so it's something that lives in human and animal large intestines. Dr. Sidrix Box says it could have come from someone who didn't wash their hands after using the restroom or from a rat in the warehouse. Either way, he says these germs are all around us and most healthy people have nothing to worry about. It's not that bad and in fact, it's not surprising at all. Maybe not to him, but our test results didn't sit well with the lunch crowd on South Congress. I don't even drink out of a can anymore for that reason. So you don't worry about it? I guess not. Not till now, I might now. I'd probably wipe off the rim and keep drinking it anyways. Wiping off the rim, a lot of people do just that. They take a napkin or their t-shirt and they just wipe off the top of the can. Now that will get rid of a little bit of the bacteria, but both of our experts say it's much more effective and you'll swallow a lot less bacteria if you just run the top under running water for a few seconds. Also, if you don't want to do that or you're not always around running water, buy a couple of these can tops. They're four bucks for, you get four of them. And all you have to do is snap it right on the top and your lips will never touch the lid. Judy. Great advice. Thank you, Betty. The American Beverage Association had this response to our test results. Our packaging meets and often exceeds all government health standards, adding consumers should take reasonable care to ensure the packaging has not been damaged or soiled once in the marketplace.